<laughs> oh, wow. Hey guys, it's Chief from the F Word here to review Night World. Now, I wasn't originally going to review this because this just looked terrible, but I was talking to my good friend Tanya and she mentioned that she saw this movie and how bad it was. And I said, you know what? I'll review it just for you, Tanya. So Night World is about a retired LAPD officer that decides to move to Bulgaria because his wife passed away and he's haunted by those nightmares and everything like that. Goes to the capital of Bulgaria named Sofia and takes a security job at this haunted hotel or apartment building. I don't really remember. And so his job is just sit there and look at screens and he noticed something on one of the security screens and he doesn't know what it is. And the guys that hire them are these kind of like really laughable character type of guys in suits and they're trying to hide the secret with faces like I don't know Ooh. I mean maybe not to that extent but it's there and so they bring in Robert Englund and if you don't know who Robert Englund is you should he haunted our nightmares forever as Freddy Krueger he is Freddy Krueger the legendary Robert Englund. And he's in this as this blind guy that knows what's going on. And he's essentially more so our main character because he gives us all the exposition we need. And he's actually a bright spot in it as well because it just seems like he's having fun. He's got an accent and everything like that. So he seems to be enjoying himself more than anybody else. And Night World essentially is the land of the dead, the world of the dead, the world of the night. This hotel has a gateway to it. And so if it opens up and the dead crawl through, then all the world will be in chaos. Worlds will collide. And that's essentially the movie. This thing is hilarious. Hilariously bad. Not as hilariously bad as The Room, but this is pretty bad. From the moment the first character speaks, you could just tell what kind of movie this is going to be. The delivery on all the dialogue isn't really good. Actually, it's not not good at all. All the inflections are a little bit weird. It's almost like they're just they just decided to do a table read and they're just staging everything and everyone's just, you know, they've remembered their lines, but this is like the first draft before they release the actual movie, then they finish this draft and they're saying like, well, this is the best it's going to get, let's just release it. So the writing's horrible, the delivery's laughable, and it's just really funny to watch the expression on our main character Brett's face. He has these really weird expressions and his reactions to things are over the top very play like Ooh. and at one point he was like talking to this girl that he's been seeing as a coffee shop owner brings him into this hotel to hang out with him and he says the same thing in two different ways literally the second he finishes that first sentence it's really funny and it happens again later on and it's really funny this thing's just ridiculous the whole concept of it is ridiculous it's not executed very well and there's so much buildup that you actually only get 12 minutes out of this hour and 31 minute or whatever movie of something happening and then when it does end up happening it's pretty much just them in a warehouse with flashlights doing all the work that's apparently our night world no one hurt themselves coming up with that concept there's two things one when he's confronting something at the end and he goes to shoot it and he doesn't know if he wants to, Brett makes these faces like he's about to shit his pants, which is really funny to watch. And then the second thing is his last name is Anderson. These guys with suits show up at one point and they're calling him Mr. Anderson, trying to mimic the tone that Hugo Weaving pulled off in The Matrix. And so I'm pretty sure that's a bit of a Matrix ripoff and they kept doing it over and over and over. They couldn't just say his name once or twice. They said it eight times in a 30 second exchange so that was something all in all this is just something to watch i think it's if you like watching bad movies just you know they're bad and you enjoy watching them check it out i guess you're not gonna get anything out of it just a really poorly done movie with some bad dialogue even worse delivery a lot of stuff that doesn't really make sense some decent cinematography but really you're not gonna care either way and it doesn't help the movie one slightest bit so if you have seen night world or if you want to see night world come back here let me know what you think in the comments because i'd be really curious to see what your thoughts are on this because this is just <coughs> thank you tanya i love you anyways guys that's my review of night world let me know once again in the comments below if you've seen it or if you plan to see it if you do see it all that stuff you can find me on twitter at the f words g you can email us at the f word podcast at gmail.com make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram and until next time i'm g and i am out